hi hello and welcome back in this video we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 103 solution so today's aptitude questions have taken from the concept of time and distance so we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video so previously in our daily aptitude itself we have discussed about many time speed and distance questions uh, this is going to be i think so a uh, fourth part video or fifth part video i don't know the exact count but we have already posted many time and uh, time speed and distance videos so if you have not watched that video you can watch that videos uh, so that it will be very helpful for you in your aptitude preparation or any of the placement exam and also in our website we have posted about many off camp recruitment jobs uh, if you want to apply for any of those companies you can visit our website or if you have our app you can apply in those itself so let's get into today's topic and see the questions so the first question is in covering a distance of 30 kilometer Abai take two hours more than Samir if Abai doubles his speed then he would take one hour less than Samir what is Abai's speed they are asking so what they are saying is uh, both the persons Abai and Samir are covering a distance of 30 km but Abai take 2 hours more than Samir at a certain speed if Abai doubles his speed means he would take 1 hour less than Samir they are saying and they are asking us to find the Abai speed so we don't know what is going to be the Abai speed so we are going to take it as x so here we know about the distance and speed they have given the ratio between distance and speed and they have given the time difference so what we are going to do is distance divided by speed that is uh, distance divided by speed we are going to take the difference and that is going to be the uh, time value so I, nothing but we are going to take the formula of time okay so time is equal to distance divided by speed so in that we are going to assume two times that is uh, when Abai take two hours more that is going to be the first one and if Abai doubles his speed and that is going to be the second one So what we are going to do is Abai speed be x kilometer per hour So with the first equation so 30 kilometer by x we are going to take because uh, 30 kilometer if Abai is going at x kilometer and the next statement is going to be if he doubles his speed means he would take one hour less than Samir no so that we are taking 30 divided by 2x because Abai is doubling his speed so divided by 2x and why here 3 it came means we are taking the time difference between these two so uh, so this two hours and one hour is there no so that we are taking it as a time difference so we are going to take it as 3 so 30 divided by x minus 30 divided by 2x is equal to 3 solving this equation for x value will get the answer as 5 kilometer per hour so option a is the correct answer for the first question and the second question is Robert is traveling on a cycle and has calculated to reach point a at 2 p.m. if he travels at 10 kilometer he will reach there at uh, so at 2 p.m. if he travels at 10 km he will reach there at 12 noon if he travels at 15 km at what time at what speed must he travel to reach a at 1 p.m. so what they are saying is robot is traveling in a cycle uh, if he goes at 10 km per hour means he is going to that place at 2 p.m. if he travels at 15 km per hour means he is going to that place at uh, 12 noon so in what speed he must travel so that he will reach the place by 1 pm we have to identify so the same formula we are going to apply it here so the distance traveled uh, we don't know what is it going to be so we have taken it as x so x divided by 10 minus x divided by 15 we have taken because 10 kilometers is going and 15 kilometer he is going taking these two difference you will get because he is reaching uh, if he is traveling at 10 km per hour means he is reaching the place by 2 pm 15 km means 12 pm so the time difference between those two times is going to be 2 hours so x by 10 minus x by 15 is equal to 2 so solving for the value of x you will get the answer as 60 km per hour so sorry 60 km that is going to be the distance so the overall distance he is going to travel is going to be 60 km and uh, if he is going to travel at 10 km per hour means at what time he has started we will be able to identify so time taken to travel 60 km at 10 km per hour is going to be 60 divided by 10 then that is going to be 6 hours so he will reach the place at 2 pm when he is traveling at 10 km per hour uh, he is taking 6 hours to reach there uh, subtracting from 2 that is uh, Robert would have started 6 hours before so that he will reach that place by 2 pm so at what time did he started I, he started at 8 am so that after 6 hours he will reach 
the place by 2 pm at 10 km per hour speed. So now what we have to identify at 1 pm means how much uh, speed does he want to uh, travel we are going to identify. So speed we have to identify. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. So he is starting at 8 am. So to reach the place at 1 pm how many hours time difference is there between 8 am and 1 pm so totally 5 hours so 60 divided by 5 is going to be 12 km per hour so option c is the correct answer for the second question so what we are doing is first we are going to identify the distance and then at what time he is going to start uh, his tra travel of journey with that we are going to identify and after that we are calculating the value of speed and the last question is it take 8 hours for a 6 kilo 600 km journey if 120 km is done by train and the rest by car. It take 20 minutes more if 200 km is done by train and the rest by car. The ratio of the speed of the train to that of the cars is we have to go identify. So the speed of the train we don't know we are going to take it as x km per hour and speed of the car we are going to take it as y km per hour. So we have to uh, calculate the ratio of x is to y. So what they are saying is uh, first 120 km is done by train and the rest by car and uh, it takes 8 hours for them it takes tw 20 minutes more if 200 km is done by train and the rest by car so what we are going to do is 120 km by train so 120 divided by x because speed we don't know of the train so that is we are taking it as x and remaining 480 distance traveling by car that is going to be take it as uh, 8 hours so uh, solving that is simplifying this equation you will get this equation and the second statement is 200 km by train and the remaining distance by car it takes 25 minutes more or uh, 20 minutes more they are saying so 20 divided by 60 if you do means uh, you will get 1 by 3 hours so 8 1 by 3 hours uh, it will be calculated as 25 by 3 and you will get this equation so solving these two equation you will get the x and y value as 60 and 80 so we uh, simplifying it to the smallest ratio form you will get the answer as 3 is to 4 so option c is the correct answer for the last question so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you're new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel for more videos so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care